Okay, so you're in the midst of a marriage crisis and your spouse refuses therapy and you're wondering, are you out of luck? My name is Lee Balkum and I'm the Internet's leading marriage expert and I'm here to tell you that you're not out of luck. In the midst of a marriage crisis, many people think that marriage therapy is the answer, the only answer, the only way to make it through, only to discover that their spouse refuses to go, leaving them both hopeless and desperate, which is too bad. Here's the truth about therapy. It's not the only way to get help. It is just not. It may not even be the best way to get help. And in fact, therapy has a very poor record. And I'll go one step further than that. Therapy is just not for everyone. It's just not for everybody and how they process the world. And I'm a therapist. So here are some therapy facts for you to understand. First, more than 50% of couples who go to marriage counseling end up divorced, and that's a slightly higher rate than the general public. Now, these, these uh, facts all come from studies that have been replicated time and time again. Now, only 10 to 15% of people who even go to therapy report any improvement. Imagine that. 10% of the couples who show up in the therapist's office will show any improvement. 10 to 15%. And I'm telling you this, and I'm a therapist who, do, who used to do marital therapy like everybody else. Uh, so I understand this world that, that it, you're in where you think therapy, because it's been so well sold, is the answer, and then suddenly you have a spouse who won't go. Many people find therapy is just not the way to fix their marriage. Therapy is not for everyone, particularly men have a hard time with therapy, but some women also have a very hard time with therapy. And then when you force someone to go to therapy, it's usually useless and counterproductive. I don't know how many times I've had somebody dragged in them off my office and it's an uphill battle that only causes more resistance to doing anything about therapy. So after you invite someone to go to therapy with you and they refuse, you can't force them. It just won't help. Now that doesn't mean your spouse has given up. That's a lot of times people say, oh my spouse won't come to therapy. They don't even want to work on their marriage. That's not the case. That's not always the case. It's rarely the case. Sometimes your spouse just knows that therapy is not the way they want to do it or care to do it. They're just saying that they want a different approach. And there are different approaches out there. Here are some alternatives. Marriage retreats. Great opportunities. Weekend retreats. There's some places that even do week-long retreats. Just intensive places to deal with the marital issues without it being you know, the two of you with a therapist. It puts you in a larger context that there may be a therapist or relationship coach or educational folks who can help you understand from kind of a, an intellectual point on how you need to move forward. And then you do exercises instead of having to deal with the therapist. Excellent um, a way to do it. A marriage workshop, the difference is for marriage workshops, you usually don't go away from a retreat. You go somewhere else. Marriage workshops might be held in a local church or a local synagogue or uh, local community center. Somewhere would have a marriage workshop. It doesn't require you to actually leave town. You can go to the seminars and maybe once a week, once a month, you know, once every few days, those kinds of things. Those are excellent ways of doing it. Books on marriage excellent ways. I mean, there are not lots of books on marriage out there because they don't work. They're out there because they do work. And they are usually useful ways of gaining an outside perspective on what's going on in your marriage. There are also lots of videos and CDs on marriage that you can get. You can find on the internet. You can find at the bookstores. They will help you um, from the, the comfort of your home to, to watch somebody else tell you what you can do with your marriage. E-books and e-courses on marriage are another way, uh, and I say that as a creator of several e-courses and several e-books on marriage. Sometimes that is the cutting-edge way of getting material out there. If you read a book, it's usually three or four years old and it's thinking. An e-book or an e-course may be uh, the most current thing available, and you can find them on the Internet quite easily. So if your spouse does not want to go to therapy, don't give up. Just don't. Don't choose to, to interpret it as nothing else can be done. Don't assume that he or she does not want to work on the marriage. That's not a fair assumption. And finally, try out some alternatives. And that doesn't mean you go buy a book and put it on your um, nightstand. It doesn't mean that you buy a video and stick it up on top of the TV. You actually have to apply these things. They don't work by osmosis. You have to actually try them out. So try out some of the alternatives. And if you want to learn more about my alternative, go now to www.savethemarriage.com. That's www.savethemarriage.com.